In a recent community post of mine, I asked you guys, how do you go about searching for notes within your vaults? And surprisingly, I was told that over 60% of you guys actually go through your notes or your folders manually to find the notes you're looking for. And the reason why I'm taken back is because Obsidian has a lot of powerful tools we can utilize so we can actually find what we're needing really, really quickly without needing to go through all this manual malarkey. So I've got a little demonstration here where we can go ahead and look through the folders and also using a search bar. And in this demonstration, I have a name that I know I'm looking for. So we'll do both of those. And then we've also got ancestry. So we may know one detail about them, but we don't know the name. So it makes finding them a lot harder within a list. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're looking for Hilda and I remember finding her last in Camdera. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer now and we're going to go to my campaign and we're going to go to NPCs. Uh, have a quick through here, unorganized, unfortunately not in there. So let's go ahead and jump into our Dennis. I'm going to jump into Camdera and not seeing that. So move this down and go to Valdian and looking for H's and uh, Hilda. So that's about 23 seconds. And already that's quite a bit of time. It's not a minute. It's not two minutes, but it's still quite a bit. But uh, let me just go ahead and show you the other one, which is the Ancestry, and then we'll try and go from there. Alrighty, so next I'm going to be looking for a, I think it's a gnome. Um, she was a bartender within, again, Camdera, actually, at the very beginning of my campaign. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of this character. So we're going to go start looking and see how long this takes. So I'm going to start in three, two, one, go. And again, we're just going to be searching through the file structure here. So I remember this character had a name or a, a picture, sorry. So have a quick look through here and see. Archie doesn't seem to be the case. So let's go into Adinis. We're going to go into Camp Dara and let's see if I can spot them. Now imagine looking through this list up. Ah, there we go about 25 seconds. Imagine looking through this list and having to read through every one if you didn't have a picture for them as well. So this would take a lot longer. So we're just going to make a note there. So roughly about the same amount of time as I was looking through them to just going through and finding which ones. Obviously I had one less folder to go through, but you can see it's it roughly works out the same for these examples here. Though if you have a lot of folders and a lot of NPCs or whatever you're looking for, this could take some time. So instead, let's look at some alternatives. So one of the best things we could do, and I'm going to move over to my other vault here, because I think this is a great example to kind of show you guys on the new system we're using, as well as what we can do with it. So with a search bar, we can do something that is like a basically just an overall search of all the files within our vault using the keybind control O. So we're going to look for a different character this time. We're going to look for someone called Benick and, and it's going to be very quick and simple. So I'll go ahead and click start and control O and then we'll do Benick. And as you can see, that was about three seconds by the time I actually got to the, uh, <laughs> the time of there. So as you can see already, We've cut that down by 20 seconds. That's just really fast and speedy. And even if that was four seconds, if I was a little bit off there, that's still roughly about 20 seconds off. And just, did you see how easy that was? I just typed in a few letters and boom, instantly there. And just makes things so much quicker and easier. Now, let's say for example, we don't know the name. Now that's gonna definitely throw a spanner in the work and kind of slow us down. However, one way we can actually bypass this and actually look into getting things is maybe we remember a detail about them. Maybe we know their location. Maybe we know something else, maybe an ancestry. So that's why I have all this set up so we can very quickly and easily set the properties. And if I go into the source mode, you can see everything that we set within those systems is being set into the notes properties. And this is what we're going to be searching for. So for example, with Benick, we currently have him as an ancestry human. 
And if I was looking for all humans, he would pop up on this list. So that's what we're going to be utilizing here. So let me close this down to get rid of that. And I'm going to go ahead and look for a different character. Let's say we're looking for Von. Um, I know Von is a halfling, so we're going to look for the halflings. Let's reset that and we'll go ahead and set the timer. And we're going to be using this up here, the search functionality. And I'll show you how this works. So start search and look for the property. We're going to be looking for the ancestry property and we're going to be looking for halflings and boom, there we go. So that was about eight seconds as I got uh, to the time of that a little bit over. But as you can see already, that's what knocked off an extra 15 seconds. So putting these together, you can see how fast, how quickly we can find all this stuff here without looking through loads of different folders and file structures. We can just very quickly and easily access all that information. And these aren't the only two ways. We have tags, so we can search through all the different location tags. So it comes up with all this list here. And we also have the data views. So for example, if we was to go to somewhere like um, Onyxdale, again, using the search functionality to find it, you'll see that we have data view so I can see all the districts, locations, organizations, and even the characters within this location. And when I'm working within a place, I usually have something like this up just for quick and easy access. And honestly, personally, I think this is a much better method, but I know everyone has their own preferences. What do you guys think? Uh, is this enough to sway you over and maybe have a look at using some search bars? Are you adamant on using your folders and you're not wanting to move? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear back from you folks. And just as a side comment for all you new folks here that aren't aware of what we're currently working in, within Obsidian, I've made a template vault here, which allows us to very quickly and easily make all these amazing notes and tools so we can focus less about making our vaults and our notes look pretty and focus more on actually just making and creating our world. So for example, if I wanted to make a new point of interest, I could call this a shop and boom, we instantly have a shop that we can come in here and start filling out the information and have it linked in different places, like you saw a moment ago with the data views. If I wanted to make an NPC, I could make an NPC and I'd be able to get all this set up for me already made. And all I need to do is come in here and set in all the information for this in particular NPC. It saves you a hell of a lot of time on the prep and setup and just lets you keep on creating. If you're interested in that, Highly recommend checking out a card that's on the screen now, which will take you to my template vault, and it gives you a lot of great details. But until then, folks, I'll hopefully catch you around. See you for now. Bye.